Okay, uh, welcome everybody. Um, thanks for coming along. I'd like to try and explain a little bit about the computer science and language degree program. What is it? That little diagram there gives you uh, a first idea. It combines the study of uh, computer science, the study of a particular language, that might be German, might be French, and it might be Irish. And the study of really the science of language, which is linguistics, the scientific study of language uh, in general, and computational linguistics, which is really technologies associated with language. So that's the spectrum of things that are covered by computer science and language, or CS. L. Now I'm going to just quickly try and explain something about each of those um, components. Uh, first of all, computer science. What we're aiming to do in the four years of the program is give you this mastery of all the uh, techniques and technologies involved in um, computerized uh, applications. So those are the things that go on behind the screen of a, of a computer that you use. But it's also worth emphasizing that many, many, many things that uh, you interact with on a daily basis have computers powering what is, uh, what is, what is going on. So you're really learning the techniques and technologies um, behind uh, many of the things that make the world work as we, as we, now, uh, as we now use it, like weather forecasts, or um, uh, telling you what things you might like to buy, and so on. And uh, hopefully, you'll, you'll be uh, sufficiently acquainted with that uh, technology that you'll actually be able to potentially work as a developer of exactly those kinds of uh, technologies. As to what kind of prior abilities in that area uh, you should have, we're not going to assume really any prior knowledge of computing. We will kind of start from, 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 from scratch. Um, the sort of person that's going to be able to do this, um, they need to have some kind of aptitude for, uh, well, really precise uh, reasoning. That might be ev evidenced by being pretty good at mathematics. You don't have to be in any way a whiz kid at, ma at mathematics, but having an appreciation of the analysis of a, of a, of a system uh, for recognizing uh, structure. And uh, for that reason, we have that requirement, um, a C3 or better in, high, in, uh, in higher level maths. So those, those are a few words about the, um, the computer science component. So that's something which you will study throughout the, uh, the four years. Another component is uh, mastering a particular uh, language, which will either be um, German, French, or Irish. Um, those are provided by the relevant departments within um, Trinity College. And you'll be having courses alongside you know, students from those uh, other participants in courses provided by those um, departments. Um, so we're aiming to give you, through this, uh, a, a, a very high level of competence uh, in that language, certainly high enough to be able to use it professionally, to actually make a career using it, uh, which some people then go on to do, for example, working in uh, um, translation. It needn't be at all the final destination of your career if you do this uh, uh, degree. Um, but that is certainly one potential uh, outcome. A very significant aspect of the degree is this one, which is that your third year, um, you uh, spend abroad. So there's um, an Erasmus uh, European exchange uh, process, which is specifically to facilitate this kind of exchange uh, arrangement amongst universities uh, in Europe. And you will go to 
one of the universities that, we've ha that we have one of these uh, uh, partner uh, arrangements with and spend a substantial amount, if not all, of that third year uh, in that country. Um, let me just go back for a second. You will not only be there, though, to enhance your command of that language, though, obviously, that will be a, a very significant aspect of what takes place. The universities that we choose to be partnered with are universities that, ab that are able to cover the three uh, components of this, uh, this program. So you will, you will be also continuing to uh, follow your education in, um, in, uh, in, in computer science um, and also in uh, linguistics. And one of the things that the language departments will make particular um, efforts towards in the first two years is giving you that level of competence that you will be able to uh, function in that way. You can attend lectures, you can submit uh, assignments. Um, the third component, um, the science of language. So uh, languages themselves, besides learning a particular la la language, languages themselves um, can be uh, scientifically stu uh, studied. Okay? And the name of that then, that study uh, is, is uh, linguistics. Also, language uh, requires its own technologies to facilitate various things, facilitate machine translation, facilitate um, speech uh, recognition, and we could call that whole field computational uh, linguistics. Just to give you an indication of like some of the things that emerge in the, uh, this, this part of the degree, the uh, study of language, um, rather than a, a uh, particular language. What people find when they stand back and uh, study languages as, a, as an object in their, in their own right is that they are uh, organized in um, surprisingly uh, regular ways. And you'll be learning quite a lot of, uh, of those systems. There's systems, for example, in the sounds of language. Um, there's an international phonetic alphabet, for example, for uh, describing all the sounds that are made by uh, all the languages. Systems to describe how different kinds of vowels uh, relate to each other. There's a whole world of um, systems, really, in uh, the, uh, the sounds of language. There's systems in the words of, la of, la uh, of language. So. Um, that are involved in telling you which words are possible, uh, which words are, are impossible, um, how compound words come to have a particular meaning given the, uh, the parts contained in them. Uh, systems in the grammars of, of language uh, explaining what sequences of words uh, are possible. These are things which you'll be getting a, an acquaintance with um, in the, uh, the uh, linguistics component of the course. Um, the systems in also relating the grammar of, of language uh, to what it means. Now, so there we are. There's those three components I've, I've said a little bit of, uh, about there. Um, computer science, learning a particular language, and, uh, well, the science of language, science and technology of language. Um, these things are actually more interrelated than you might think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you've come along here because you can recognize there's a, there's a link between them. But all, quite often, people who have an aptitude for one of these things have an aptitude for... Uh, the other parts of it, um, for example, people who have to master a foreign language have to become fairly uh, keen, keenly aware of grammar. Uh, much more aware of it possibly than people who aren't strenuously trying to learn uh, a foreign language. So the part of the degree which is the scientific study of language uh, 
uh, one of which is studying the syntactic structures of, la of, of language. You also have a head start um, in that. Another example might be one of the things you'll be doing is uh, studying rather closely aspects of the, uh, the sounds of language, studying phonetics, um, which again uh, is uh, quite useful for people who are trying to master uh, a foreign language, in particular master the sounds of that language. You have a greater insight into what it is that you have to do to make the particular sounds that you're striving to make. Um, this is a much more abstract kind of re uh, relation, but uh, structures um, and subroutines, um, these, are, these are notions that are very much recur, they, they occur over and over, over again in computer science, in, pro in programming, and also in, um, in linguistics. There's many other ways these things interweave uh, with, e with each other. Um, one of the things that joins them up is uh, computational linguistics. Let me just put that there. This is how you try and make technologies around l language by exploiting what's known about languages as an object of scientific study. There's myriad ways in which this uh, occurs. Speech recognition, speech synthesis, um, language generation, identifying who is speaking, um, and so on. Uh, very, 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 very many. Um, now, careers. People come out of this degree and uh, do a wide variety of things. Some go off and earn their money working basically as uh, computer developers, software developers. Um, we have graduates uh, who do that. Um, others maybe take their language uh, abilities and make a career uh, really exclusively around that. They may be doing translation, they may be um, working as interpreters. Some people have gone into uh, diplomatic kind of careers, so they work in foreign offices, again, uh, into, uh, with particular uh, countries. Um, People also find roles uh, within uh, multinational companies which also value people who have both languages and an ability with uh, uh, technology. As a kind of description of the sort of things that someone who's graduated from this degree will have, they'll be problem solvers, be able to do programming, uh, they're good at analysis, obviously they've learned a foreign language, this year abroad aspect of what they do also gives them a great self-reliance. This is a great thing to have on your uh, CV. It's an exciting thing going to do your year ab abroad. Also, a, you know, a pretty substantial enterprise to undertake. And people who go through it, they enjoy it, but also feel rather confident about being able to take on uh, further, cha further challenges. Um, and there's this range. This is just a, a sample of the kinds of places that people have um, uh, gone off to do, uh, to do work after their graduation from this degree. Also, some people continue, and quite a number, in fact, can continue to do uh, a master's degree or further um, a study uh, in this area or a cognate area. Um, I'll just, this is a very you know, brief overview of the ingredients that occur. Um, uh, really, it's just to emphasise that in all the three years of the programme, you are you are actually pursuing these uh, these three these three strands: uh, computing, uh, linguistics, uh, and language. Some unusual fe features, or just other features. For many people, this has suited people who have had a kind of war in their soul about whether they want to do an arts thing or a, te or, or a technical thing. It is, it is a multidisciplinary degree, one of the most multidisciplinary degrees that we've tra tra Trinity, College is, Trinity College has. And uh, it suited some people um, who are in that pos position. Um, it has a greater tendency to be gender balanced possibly than the uh, other computer science programs. Um, as I already said, it fosters many talents necessarily by its design. 
Um, and you will be encouraged to do lots of self-generated solutions by working on various uh, projects. There's a research seminar that students also attend. So it's uh, challenging, useful, fascinating degree. Um, many people are interested in language itself. Um, so it's interesting from that point of view. Many people are uh, particularly interested in a, in a foreign language, um, so it's satisfying from that point, 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 point of view. Um, you may then go and pursue a career following those things, but you will also have been doing strenuous education in, um, in computer science, so you can uh, go and pursue a career in all the many, many, many uh, avenues that uh, um, that opens to you, so uh, it provides many, many opportunities. That's some words from um, a particular student. If you go to our website, uh, you'll find more information, of, of, obviously. Um, there's also contact information there. One thing that some students have found, um, I think, uh, useful is to come and do shadowing. So they come to the college for a day or two, and they basically try on the degree, like a suit of clothes. And uh, you can go to various lectures. You'll be accompanied by current students who will uh, you know, be able to give it you uh, straight as to uh, uh, what's, what's, what's going on. So if you're, that's also a good thing to consider um, to find out more about things. So if you have a, a slot, in your forthcoming year that allows you to go and um, do that. Uh, certainly something worth getting in contact with us um, to consider. We have stands over in the dining hall. There's students there who can tell you more about it. We also have a stand over in the Lloyd Building along with the other uh, computer science programs. Uh, so you can also talk to people uh, there. They will also be able to give you brochures and so on. So, thank you very much. If you've got any questions, you can, you can ask me now, um, or maybe when we're kind of officially finished. But uh, yeah, please fire away with questions that you might have. <coughs>